Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and lock your learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSE Mathematics Class 7 Chapter 24 Area and Perimeter Exercise 24A Question 1. This is find the perimeter and area of each shape, right? So we do this every year and it's very simple. So the perimeter is basically the measure of the boundary of the figure, right? The boundary is this one, right? This is the boundary. Now this thing we will add, right? See, all the measure of the four sides will be added so that we get what? The boundary, right? So first of all, we'll calculate the perimeter, right? So what will the perimeter be? So perimeter of a, what is this? What is this figure called? Rectangle, right? Where two sides, two opposite sides are equal. Now this will be 2 into L plus B, right? This is the formula for the perimeter, right? Length is what? 7 and breadth is 2. Okay, so now solve this thing. So what does this give you? The perimeter becomes what? For P, it becomes 2 into length is 7, right? Always remember the longer side is called the length and the shorter side is called the breadth, right? Now 7 plus 2, that is what? 2 into 9 and that is 18 centimeter, right? This is the perimeter and now the area. So again, area of a rectangle, right? We will calculate it. So let's see what will this be. Area of a rectangle is going to be 7 into 2. That is simply length into breadth, right? So length into breadth, 7 is the length into breadth is this uh, 2, 7 into 2. And that becomes 14 centimeter, right? 14 square centimeter. Whenever we are calculating the, a the, uh, the area of any figure, the area is always expressed as uh, the number with the unit that is centimeter or meter and then a 2 on top of it that means square right so centimeter a square centimeter or square meter now let's move on to the next part now we move on to the next part right and same thing is here also you can see this is only a rectangle only this has been tilted one side is 1.5 meter and the other is 8 meters right so again a, like a rectangle is usually like this but they've made it like this so both of them are same don't worry now see here that two of the sides are of different length okay so we use the formula first for perimeter i'll write here p that equals to 2 into l plus b okay that will give you what Two. remember l is the length length is always the longer side so l for longer right so 8 meters so 8 is the longer side plus b breadth is 1.5 so that will give us what 2 into 9.5 and that will be what 0 and 1 19 point zero right 19 meters this is what it will be right 19 meters okay this becomes our perimeter okay and now the area so for area i'll simply write a here area again l into b right l is one sorry l is eight right eight into and b is 1.5 so let's multiply this thing right so this will be what zero and four 12 and decimal point after one place so 12 what square meter right if the unit is meter then square meter if centimeter then square centimeters right so this becomes the area now let's move on to the next solve the next one right this is what again 2x and x plus 2 these are the two sides right so here not a fixed value is given but two different sides are given to us so it's again going to be very simple okay see how first we'll calculate the perimeter and this is a rectangle because you can see two opposite sides are equal so this is a rectangle because of these right that is given here so two opposite sides are equal now perimeter is 2 into l plus b we don't know what is the length what is the breadth so put them accordingly as you wish 2 into and 2x plus x plus 2 right this is what it will be 2x plus x plus 2 okay now what will this give us let's see 2x plus 2x plus x becomes 3x plus 2 right this is what it will be now 
So, so open the brackets and simply multiply this. So, 2 into 3x uh, becomes 6x plus 2 into 2 becomes 4 and that is the perimeter. Okay, next we have area. So, for area we have length into breadth, right? But we again don't know what is the length or breadth. So, multiply the two sides that are given to us. That is 2x into x plus 2, right? This is 1 and this is also 1. Okay, so what will this give us? Both of these will be multiplied with it, right? See, we'll use the distributive property, all right. So what will happen? This 2x will multiply with this x, that is what? 2x square plus 2x will multiply with 2, right? Plus sign, this sign here will be copied. If it is minus, then it will be minus. Na uh, and then 2 here, so 2x into 2, right? And what will that give us? 4x. Okay, so 2x square plus 4x, this becomes our area and answer as well. All right, and friends, this is all for today. If you are new to my YouTube channel, do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one. Till then, take good care of yourselves and bye bye.